Hey guys, it's Taylor Attic 3 with my newest Halo Reach figure. This video is going to be for the Grunt Major from Series 4 of the Halo Reach figures. Uh, well, I made an update video a while ago saying that I was going to try and post uh, the three new figures that I got all at the same time. I wasn't able to. I got I kind of just posted the first two and I waited till I waited another week before I posted this one. So I apologize for that. But uh well no, I'm just gonna make it since I found the time. So yeah, uh this is a series four grunt major. He comes with he came with a needler and a plasma grenade, but you can see that the grunts don't have anywhere to place the grenades on them. So I have a bunch of loose plasma grenades lying around in the box that I keep my figures in. I gave as many as I could to my elites, but they can't really hold all of them at the same time since they only have the two spots on the two little peg things on the back. But, uh, well, yeah. So he can't hold grenades, but, uh, he comes with a lot of stuff that can be removed, like, uh, his mask. It's a little difficult, but. You can see he's got his little mouth and his teeth, and it, I think that's a tongue, actually. So they put a lot of detail into that. If I can actually see the tongue. I'm not sure if you guys can. Let me see if I can turn the cam camera at an angle. Well, you can tell. You have all the red in his mouth. So that's, like, the inside. And the mask has a spot where he, like, where the figure, like, bites down on, so it stays in place easily. Uh, now for comparing this to the uh, Halo 3 grunts, all the Halo Reach figures, they're a lot taller. Like, uh, here I'll show you, let me give a comparison. Okay. Here's the Halo 3 grunt major. Oh, oh shit. Sorry about that. These guys. Oh yeah. Just so you know, the grunts don't ver don't stand up very easily. But you can definitely see there's a huge difference in looks and in size. And that probably sounded wrong. Uh. So anyways, he came with the needler, which was a bit of a pain to put on but now that I have it finally now that I finally have him holding it properly it, it stays in his grip pretty well and the needle the needles aren't all bent and pushed back like my other needler is on my elite minor these actually it they they stay in place pretty well like the when the figure came in the box, the the needles weren't all shoved down against this part right here and bent to the sides and all weird looking. So I was happy about that. And uh, well, like I said, the figures are difficult to stand up, so I have to kind of lean lean him against like a wall to make him stand properly. Um, the reason he doesn't stand very well, cause his feet can hold him. The way they're, the way they are, like, he has, like, four toes, he has the three up here, and then, like, a back heel. He, see, like, I got him to stand perfectly right now without leaning on anything. But the thing is, his, uh, his knees move very easily. Like, this knee, his, uh, his right leg is, like, really flimsy. And maybe if you put too much weight on it, of the figure, it'll just slip right under him and he'll fall forward so I'm trying to be careful with that same goes for his arms right here especially his right arm moves very easily so it's difficult to put him maybe in a position where he's aiming sometimes it'll just slip like that and it'll move wherever it wants uh, not as much for his left arm uh, his shoulders move pretty well and they're not as uh, flimsy 
Same goes for his like upper thighs, his hips. I mean, yeah, his thigh, his uh, thighs right here. And those stay in place pretty well. And that's, I guess, what holds him up the best. But his, like I said, his legs very easily disturbed, and that could cause him to fall. This back part right here, I'm not sure if I can get it off again. Oh, well, there it is. Y you'll notice that a lot of the grunts in Halo Reach, they're all kind of unique in my opinion. Like, he's the only grunt I've seen with these two little parts sticking out. And if you'll notice in the game, this center part right here will actually move even after it's removed from the grunt's back. It'll just keep spinning like it's circulating because they since they breathe methane and they wear temperature regulating suits but this part doesn't come off too easily so that's good it, it'll stay on there until you actually try and pull it off to remove it uh, in movement wise this figure is basically the same as my grunt ultra except you know some parts move more easily than others so, very similar. Except, uh, the Grun Ultra came with, like, a helmet that goes around here and the methane mask. Like, here, uh, let me get him, actually. See, he's got his little helmet going right there. And that can be removed. And he came with a plasma pistol instead of the needler. And like I said, the back part right here, I actually forgot what it's called. Uh, they're all unique, kind of, in the game. And almost like all of them are completely different from one another. The, uh, so yeah, they're, the grunts in Halo Reach are pretty unique when you compare like the, the different types. like. Grunt Major, Grunt Ultra, and the Grunt Miner I think is pretty similar to the Halo, the Halo 2, 3 Grunts, well, since it just has like the, the one part that sticks out instead of these guys. Uh, so yeah, not too much to say about this figure I guess. I mean he's got a lot of detail on his skin, same as this, the Grunt Ultra. They move in all of the same places, except this one, of course, is a little easier to move. Um, but yeah, a lot of the grunts are pretty similar, in my opinion. And they have similar features with their armor, like, you'll notice the grunt major has this part that wraps around, and the grunt ultra also has that part that wraps around his waist. And his chest, similar, similar, both parts removable. So yeah, that is the Halo Reach Grunt Major. Thanks for watching.